Okay, so let's take a look at your newest set. Um, I see that you have written the task one straight into your email body, which is fine, but it's really helpful if you could include the image. I really need to refer to it many times in my corrections. So what you could do is you could just send us an attachment and include uh, the image in that, in that document. Okay, that would be helpful. So let's try this. The bar chart illustrates sales of shoes in a brown and black leather in eight European countries in the year 2018. All right, this is awkward here in a brown and black cut leather. You could have said the bar chart illustrates the sales of brown and black leather shoes in eight European countries in, in 2018. You don't need to say all this in the year. You could just say in 2018. It's cleaner, it reads more naturally, and it's a better idea. The brown leather shoes were dominant in Poland and Germany, where sales of both reached over 100,000, with more sold in Poland. Same color triumphed. Okay, spelling here. You could say the same color triumphed also in Ireland, Holland, and France, with numbers of 100,000, 80,000, and 75,000, respectively. Okay. In the UK, Belgium, Hungary, and Italy, comma, Black leather shoes were a more popular choice compared to brown ones. In the UK, sales reached even 100,000 pairs S sold, whereas in the rest of the mentioned countries, numbers were higher with the leading figure of Hungary just under 150,000. Okay. The greatest discrepancy between the two colors, careful with your spelling, was in Belgium with a significant dominance of black shoes over 100,000 compared to around 5,000. Overall, brown leather shoes were more popular in five countries, whereas black leather shoes were more prevalent only in four countries. Okay, yeah, I'm going to need to um, pull up the diagram, so give me a minute. Okay, so here it is. Um, I want to look at your grammar, but I also want to give you some suggestions on how you could do this. You didn't really mention the lows very much, and for me, those are important here. Um, You've got, it's not eight countries, it's actually nine countries, and uh, you have a total of 18 pieces of information. You don't need to mention all of them, you shouldn't mention all of them, but you do have to mention, of course, brown and black, which are your categories, and you also have to mention the names of all the countries at least once. So let me show you a little bit about how I would do that. Um, just some pointers. First of all, it's a good idea when you have a lot of countries, like you do here, or a lot of categories, to mention the names of the categories in the introduction. So when you say in nine European countries, uh, open some parentheses and then write the name of the nine countries. Okay, that way you can ensure that you've at least mentioned the countries once. Okay, and then um, I have to see what you wrote for your overview. I don't quite remember. For me, I would probably say that Hungary, um, sold the highest number of shoes of any of the countries um, in, in um, and Belgium sold the least, uh, whereas it appears that brown leather shoes were more, were, were popular in more countries than black were. Okay, so I'd probably do it something like that. Um, all right, so now let me tell you which points I think are very important here. I really like to use these numbers along the side. I found them very helpful. So what I would do is I would say, uh, I would start with black leather, first of all, because it's the highest figure in the chart. So you want to point that out. So I would say that um, regarding black leather shoes, three countries sold over 100,000 shoes. Uh, more specifically, Hungary sold the most black shoes and uh, at 140,000, which was the highest number of any type of shoe sold. Um, that year. It was followed closely at 125,000 by Italy um, and Belgium was just over 100,000. The least number of black leather shoes were sold in France at just around 35,000. The remaining countries all sold between 50 and 100,000. You don't need to mention those countries because guess what? You mentioned them in the introduction. Okay. So it's a good way to focus on the important things, the highs and the lows, and then kind of just smush the rest of this together. Okay? Um, right. And you've already mentioned the name of the countries, so you don't have to do it again. 
And then for the brown leather shoes, I would do something similar, okay? All right, so now let's go back to your essay. Um, I didn't check to see if you mentioned all countries. I'm pretty certain that you didn't. And so I hope that the suggestions I made give you some ideas about how you could mention um, those countries, okay? So, right, like I said here, just add them here in parentheses, just all the, all the names of all nine. And again, it wasn't eight, it was nine countries. Um, I think we pretty much covered the vocabulary and the grammar mistakes. So um, just some stuff for you to think about there. All right, let's take a look at your task two. This is about, um, about fast food. So let's see what you said. It is becoming a common trend that traditional foods are being suppressed by the more popular choice of fast food. Okay, suppressed is the wrong word here. Maybe, um, I think I know what you want to say, are being, yeah, I'm not really sure, actually, are being, let me think. I don't really know. I'm not sure. I take that back. Okay, this, careful with your typing, this phenomenon can have a significant impact on both individuals and society in a negative way. I partially do agree with this statement. However, I can see reasonable points on both sides. Okay. You're all supposed to talk about families. Don't forget that, but let's see what you said. On the one hand, food is in, mm, it, it, mm. food is an inseparable part of our culture and indeed part of our history. A recent Oxford study proved that in cultures where dining together is still a daily habit, new generations have a stronger bond to their history and ancestors. Okay, careful. This study also indicated that people who did not have traditional meals anchored in their day-to-day -day lives have less knowledge about the fact and data from history, only about 20% of the, all right, full stop here, only about 20% of the population would significantly pass standard high school tests compared to the other group where traditional cuisine plays a key role, no S, where the number exceeded 60%. Okay, it's not the number, it's the figure because it's percent, okay? On the other hand, new types of food, even fast food, have, can have a positive effect. Impact. I'm sorry, you didn't say impact. You didn't say effect, you said impact. Individuals who experience a mixture of different types of cuisines tend to be more tolerant and less racist. This was repeatedly proven by several studies conducted all over the world. Researchers who participated in those indicated that even all... Okay. Researchers who participated in those indicated that even all of the negative trends caused by fast food consumption might what happened to your grammar here might be outweighed by positive effects of immersing yourself in a new culture all right i understand what you're trying to say here but it's really kind of uh problematic so let me try it again in fact researchers who participated in those studies I understand you're trying to use ellipsis here, but it was awkward to read. Uh, researchers who participated in those studies indicated that many of the negative trends caused by fast food consumption might be outweighed by the positive effect of immersing yourself in a new culture. Okay? All right. In conclusion, the replacement of traditional cuisine with a fast food has negative effect, not with a fast food, with fast food, has negative effects to some extent, but can definitely, but definitely cannot be held responsible for all the problems related to the loss of cultural heritage. Okay, so now I want to look at your uh, task achievement. Remember, you were supposed to talk about, you were supposed to talk about, you didn't include it. All right, you were supposed to talk about uh, families, individuals, and society. So, uh, I guess in a way you were talking about society here. Okay. Um, let's see. Traditional meals. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it felt to me like you were talking about society here. You were talking about individuals. You didn't really talk about family anywhere. And so that's a problem for me. Okay. Um, for sure. That's a problem. I also felt this needed to be more, um, more developed. I also have another concern 
that you focused you your whole paragraph here was focused on um international fast food okay um and just experiencing different cuisines whereas that's not really the full range of fast food sure i mean okay i think that it's fair to say that some fast food might originate from other cultures but you know by and large i think every culture does have its own fast food so making the whole positive about eating food from other countries i didn't really feel was a particularly strong argument and wasn't really helpful so let's talk about what you could have done in this paragraph instead you could have said on the other hand uh fast food may be very beneficial to families um and you could say that since families no longer are busy with cooking and preparing meals they have more time to spend leisure time together or maybe you know take care of other family responsibilities that uh, cooking never allowed them to do before maybe they can you know spend quality time together or do any other thing so you can say you could um potentially say that therefore uh fast food frees up times for families uh who lead very busy lifestyles so that they can um, engage in other bonding activities together okay so that's something you could have said here which would have made you include the issue of family um and also since you wanted to do it like a a, a double-sided uh essay you this would have allowed you to do it okay all right so that's the feedback for the set uh let me know if you have any questions looking forward to seeing a new set and good luck to you